Hello everybody and welcome to another NBS programming tutorial. My name is Tyler and I am going to be showing you guys today how to get a project running in Programmer's Notepad. Let's see if I actually remember how to do this myself. Like I said, I always use code blocks for everything, but I know a few people in our organization still like to use Programmer's Notepad when doing these kind of projects. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it because it is way easier to set up. Um, code blocks takes a while to set up. You have to do it, mess around with some compiler settings and stuff. Whereas Programmer's Notepad comes. Alex, I am doing tutorials. Can you try not to make so much noise? <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, um, yeah, you may have even heard Jack in the background a little bit clicking on stuff. My mic is way too sensitive. I gotta fix that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jack, for the example. <laughs> so anyways, um, like I said, I normally do things in code blocks, but Programmer's Notepad, once you get once you get everything set up, the compilers are already connected, which makes things really, really easy. So first of all, we are going to copy this exact template that I have linked to you guys in the last episode. There are a couple little changes I made. I added some comments to make things a little bit clearer for you guys. And I made sure that it has the latest version of Night Fox Library. Do not worry about that. So anyways, we're going to go into here. We're going to go to NBS Tutorials, and we are going to paste our project. Let's give this a name. How about we call... Frog note example. So anyways, there is our project, and now we need to get this up and running into a programmer's notepad project file. So you guys may have noticed that you already have programmer's notepad installed. In fact, if you if you actually go to DevKit Pro and you go into examples and you go to NBS, you guys will actually see there is some examples here and they are all in programmers notepad project files because that is how you would normally build them. I will open one up, you just hit the PM project and I'll show you this version of Hello World. I am not a huge fan of programmers notepad as you can see it's just Kind of a very cluttered IDE. So anyways, you'll notice that there's a lot more code in this version. Um, they're setting up interrupts, they are setting up some color formatting, and they are also reading the touch screen. It's kind of messy code. It looks really cool if you want to actually test it out just to say you can build it. Um, all you'd have to do, go, do, go to is tools, make, and it built. And if we close out of there, you can see this is what it looks like. And it's count the frames, touch control, it's giving you both the, the hardware locations as well as the pixel locations. We always use pixel locations for our games. Just a little just a little bit easier to work with. So anyways, that's what Programmer's Notepad looks like. We wanted to get our own project up in, the, in there. So if we go to here, there's Programmer's, Programmer's Notepad example. Well, what I'm actually going to be doing is I am going to be opening up a Programmer's Notepad. If you go to, if you go in and just search for Programmer's Notepad, and just click it. Sorry, that's off screen here. Here it is. Close that out because you don't want that. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be going to File, New, Project. An empty project is what you want. And we are going to call this um, Frog Note Example you'll discover that this can actually be a little bit tedious. First, we are going to go SPC drive. I hate how they make 
like that. It's still hard to get to. Dog note example. That's our folder. We hit OK. And we hit OK. So now we have our project. Now what we are going to be doing is we are going to be adding a magic folder, which automatically brings in any files, even if they get changed and whatnot. So that part's kind of useful. We're just doing the same thing again, going to Programmer's Notepad example, hit Next. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky. Um, you want to add the files that you want to include. We are going and separate each with a semicolon. So we are going to C, oops, dot C, um, and dot CPP, and we want dot H. If I hit finish, now see Nightbox library includes. I did that wrong, didn't I? magic folder. Sorry guys, <laughs> I did that wrong. So let's try without the dots and see if that's my issue. Hit finish. Alright, that's another way you can do it. Or not. Alright. This is why I do not use Programmer's Notepad, because it does really weird things like this. I'm going to remove that. Okay, that's not what we want. Add magic folder. Tutorials, programs, and examples. Next, dot C, dot CPP, dot H. Did I do spaces before? That's probably it. Yep, that was it. Yeah, do not put spaces in it. Just do dot c dot cpp dot h. My bad, guys. So, anyways, here is the file. We now have our project, and you guys can go to tools clean, tools make. Not sure if run works. Nope, run does not work. Sorry. So, anyways, let's go to make. Oops, because I forgot to add the make file to that. Alright, I'm making this tutorial before that went up, so don't worry about it. Where would I grab that from? Yeah, by the way, our organization uses Dropbox for everything. So, if I just go to Legend of Hellblade, copy that make file 7.78. Copy that over to our project. Files tutorials. Paste that in there. Close that out. Now if we go to Tools Make, there we have our project. And I 
this is probably the part that annoys me the most with programmers notepad is if you accidentally close the libraries you have no way to run your game so you always have to keep that open but programmers notepad sometimes gets in the way you can obviously see where my dilemma is and why I do not use this in code blocks I can set it up so I can actually run my game using a button inside code blocks which makes things so much easier now we have commit run, and there is our hello world. So guys, sorry about all the confusion, but the main things you want to remember is always do include your dots, do not include spaces when doing the magic folder, and you're just setting up a file, new project, and empty project. The makefile handles everything else for you. That's why the makefile is so important. It actually tells you how to build an NVS file. It tells all, sets up all the compilers and everything. Pretty handy, pretty simple. All right, I believe that is it for this tutorial. And I will make sure to update that Dropbox so that you guys will actually have the correct makefile. I'm sorry about that. If you down, if you actually, this tutorial, actually, ah, never mind. So, anyways, until next time, guys, keep making games, people.